sorry if my voice is all funny. Really quick, I want to thank my friends over at Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Girl, I know you know about Gymshark. I know you know. So thanks, Gymshark. And a big, huge, juicy thanks for keeping me nice and fitted for the gym. And just day-to-day -day casual wear. I'm so really tired. I need to wake up. Bye. guys so really quick before we get into this video i do want to do a very quick disclaimer in no way shape or form am i saying if you eat like this you're going to look like me I'm not saying that you need to eat like this one eats differently depending on their own lifestyles and their own goals another really quick thing that i want to mention on here and i kind of briefly mentioned on my twitter but not a lot of you guys follow me on twitter a big reason why i stopped consuming animal products is because a few years back i was having a lot of digestive issues and i didn't really know what the issue was and i slowly started to cut out a lot of things specifically dairy and meat i've been eating plant-based not vegan i have been eating plant-based for about three years now and just because i'm saying that i want to potentially introduce meat back into my diet doesn't necessarily mean that i'm going to just start eating meat I never want to have a bad relationship with food i noticed over the past few months that i really started craving sushi regular sushi to be specific and i have not had some yet but i really want to try to have some i don't want to feel bad about it i haven't had some i'm still buying the same things that i normally buy except i think in this video i did buy some tuna that being said i really wanted to let you guys know i'm here because i don't know i feel like you guys deserve to know at the end of the day this is how i eat this is my lifestyle this is my life and I'm choosing to share these things with you guys in hopes that it will inspire you to eat healthier or change up your meals from time to time. Whether that be, you know, changing up your meals and making them a little bit healthier, maybe substituting meat for a plant-based alternative. All of these meals are plant-based. I want to let you guys know that eventually I do want to start to consume I don't know maybe fish i honestly don't even know don't hold me accountable to it though because i don't know what's gonna happen but i don't want you guys to be caught off guard if you guys ever see me like eating sushi or something i don't know i'm still eating fully plant-based by the way and i'm going to continue to eat mostly plant-based but whenever i do start to incorporate maybe some more like i guess meats in my diet maybe i'll start showing you guys but as of right now i have nothing to show you guys because i haven't been doing that but with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys get some inspo and try some of these recipes out because they're so good all of these are mostly high in protein i love you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoy the video welcome to my little kitchen my giving face no but you're giving a dry bag so that's what you're giving Show you guys how i make my high protein smoothie need your fruit i always like to do pineapple and a berry mix acai super fruit packets these have 10 grams of protein always try to get this type of stuff on sale at the grocery store high protein yogurt you can obviously add whatever type of yogurt you want 11 grams of protein per serving personally for me I always try to get in as much protein as possible supplementing in a protein powder definitely helps so i always like to add this one in my smoothies plus protein strawberry milk oat milk and oat milk is a little bit higher in calories if you care about that stuff use almond milk whatever you want to use use water i'm about to work out i had creatine i would have added it to my smoothie but i have no creatine Here has 44 grams of protein.
Hey guys, this is my work outfit, full fit is Gymshark. I'm so in love with the Apex collection. It quickly became my new favorite sports bra. I keep talking about it on my Instagram. Also wearing this cute little cropped zip up jacket. I feel like if you love to wear baggier tops, tucking your shirt in the back of your sports bra, you're gonna love this crop jacket because it kind of singes you at the waist, but it's still nice and baggy. I got a size small in both the tops and the bottoms. You guys know that I love to dress cute outside of the gym. The fact that I can still kind of keep the same energy of dressing cute in the gym, obsessed. And if you want to shop, make sure to check out the link in the description box. five sets of RDLs. I did three sets of the heavier weight and two sets of the lighter weight, which was 45s on each side. So typically after a workout, if I am not really motivated to make a healthy meal, this is what I like to do because it's super quick, super easy. Making a bowl is probably the easiest thing you can do, especially if you just have leftovers from the previous days. Obviously if you eat meat, like ground turkey or whatever you want to do, but if you don't eat meat, this is a really good alternative. High in protein, pretty low in ingredients as well. And just in case you guys are curious, here are the macros. A little bit of this cheese to it. Just a little bit though. A la protein I just kind of add it up on my calculator and then keep a mental note a little bit more than 34 grams for the beef crumbles but I'm gonna just say 34 a has a little over 42 grams of protein one cup of rice has four grams of protein so I had two cups of rice the beef crumbles and the rest was just lettuce tomato onion super good after a really intense leg day which is what i had i mean i love at home bowls a few things that i do want to mention obviously i added dressing to my bowl i'm never the type to exclude anything from my diet i believe everything is good in moderation if you feel like having dressing and that's like your little splurge moment go ahead and have dressing just obviously don't douse and drown your food in dressing. You guys are probably picking up what I'm putting down. Mm -hmm. 
I went to the grocery store really quick because there was something that I really wanted to make, but I did not have all of the ingredients. But let me show you guys really quick what I got. I got some Persian cucumbers. I got some, I don't want to pronounce that wrong, but I think it's Marsaki sweet potatoes. I heard these are better than regular sweet potatoes, so I got these. Ran out of frozen fruits. Got some tuna. Make sure you are buying the high protein one because the regular one isn't as high protein if you care about getting in more protein. So got these because I had I tried these the other day and they were so good. Oat milk. Oh my god, I'm still recording. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make my tofu cucumber salad. I did get this idea from TikTok, so obviously my recipe is not going to be the most authentic thing. I'm just using ingredients that I saw on all the TikToks. This is not my idea. Got it off of TikTok. It's so good and every time I make it, you guys always ask how I make it. It's pretty good, it's pretty low calorie, high protein, very filling. I love having it with rice on the side. Tofu is required in the recipe, so if you don't like tofu, please try it out regardless, because it is really good. Yes! Tofu, cucumber, mirin, some soy sauce. I also really love to put kimchi in mine. You're gonna need some garlic, so I think that's all you need. If you do need anything else, I will add it on the screen here. I'm gonna have two servings of this. One serving is 84 grams, so I'm gonna double that. Good shit. Tofu, cucumber. <laughs> I'm back in the same crew neck. So I have the tofu cucumber salad right here. I have some rice with a little bit of sriracha and a little bit of mayo. I have some seaweed. Grab a little rice. If you eat salmon, have some salmon with it if that's your vibe. It'll probably add some extra protein into it as well. I was having it so often at one point. I was having it like every other day. It was so good. These are the vegetables I'm going to be using. Some carrot, cebollita, bell pepper, mushrooms, jalapeno, ginger. These are the wraps that I enjoy using. And then I'm also going to be using half a block of tofu. I have this extra sausage laying around, so we're gonna add sausage in it as well. I'm gonna cut up my ginger. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Y luego, and you can add whatever you want to this. I obviously am just adding whatever I have around the house. Oh my God, this is so hot. Here we have the spicy vegan sausage. We have carrot, spring onion, mushroom, ginger, jalapeno, bell pepper. If you want, you can cook all of this together before you put it in the, in the tofu mixture, but I'm not gonna do that. I didn't do that last time and they came out good. We're gonna put them on the skillet anyways once we roll them up. And this is what's gonna be in the egg roll. It's gonna add some soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce. I added the soy sauce, now I'm gonna add some sesame oil. And 
and like I said you can use whatever you have at home I use tofu because as most of you guys know I've been eating plant-based for a minute now um, and I've never done the spicy sausage thing so I hope it's good. Here are the macros for the egg roll wraps. It's 60 calories for one wrap, two grams of protein, 12 carbs, zero fats, not that bad. I'm going to be doing a one-to-one -one ratio of soy sauce and rice vinegar and you can add any chili oil to your little dipping sauce I'm gonna just use whatever I have on hand Okay guys, I'm done. Se me quemaron unos pero pues Ahí vamos. They look hella good. Oh, they're so good. So it is about that time of the week when I make some juice, some ginger, apples, celery, some of this stuff is kind of old, that's why it looks a little weird. And then we have pineapple. I still don't know if I'm gonna use the pineapple yet. I don't have a juicer, so I just use my blender. What I'm going to need is a strainer, a bowl, and then a little jarrita so you can put all of your juice. Oh my God, my camera is going to die. I'm gonna chop these up and I will be right back. able to squeeze out all of that from the pulp you can also use a cheesecloth if you don't have like a strainer Who wants an apple anyways I'm gonna go ahead pour all of this juice into my jarrita if you have a juicer you obviously don't have to do this but I don't want to buy a juicer because they're so bulky 10 out of 10 <laughs> Oh, my God. 